Hey friends. So today I am going to be making some lotion bars that are meant to be used if you are going to be outside. Say you're a gardener, say you are going to be outside working um, or you know whatever you're going camping something like that. You can make these say no to bugs lotion bars stinking easy to do. So here's the recipe. I'm going to do a little demonstration. Um, hopefully it works out okay <laughs> as I'm doing this live. Um, but what you're going to need is you're going to need some shea butter. You're going to need coconut oil. You're going to need beeswax, your essential oils. And I'm going to even add a little bit of uh, Young Living's insect repellent. Um, so it's going to be fun, easy, convenient, and um, I think that it's going to be a great gift because I am going to a birthday party tonight, and it said on the invitation, no gifts whatsoever. But I'm not going to go empty-handed because that's just not right. <laughs> and um, I want to take a gift. So I know that this person who is having the birthday party, uh, she works in the garden. She loves being outside. So I thought she could really benefit from these. So I'm going to um, make these and give them as a gift. So what you're going to need is a double boiler of some sort. So I do have a double boiler, but this is, this is going to be my double boiler, okay? So I've heated this already. I've heated um, a pot of water, and I have a glass Pyrex uh, measuring cup, and I'm going to put my ingredients in here, and then that way I can set this right in the water uh, as a double, and use it as a double boiler. So what I did was I already measured everything out. So here, let me position this so that you can hopefully see, but I've got four tablespoons of shea butter. So I'm just going to put the four um, tablespoons of shea butter in my Pyrex. Um, I'm going to put two tablespoons of coconut oil. So two tablespoons of coconut oil. Also in here. And I've also got a tablespoon of beeswax. So I get my beeswax from Suntan Honey Farms in Arizona. Love them. I save bees. Check them out on Instagram, follow them. They're really great. But I get my beeswax from them because I know that it's pure and I know that there's nothing added or anything like that. Like it's just pure beeswax. So if you want to know <laughs> what is in your beeswax, get it from a, an actual farmer, a beekeeper. Okay. So I just um, grated this because I get it in bars. So it looks like, well, this has been used a few times, but it like comes in a brick. And I have a cheese grater that is specifically for my beeswax because beeswax is very interesting to clean up and it's not very easy to do. So I have a cheese grater designated specifically for that. Um, so I'm going to put my one tablespoon of grated beeswax in here as well. So that's it. So I've got my shea butter, coconut oil, and beeswax in this Pyrex. And all I'm going to do is put it in this double boiler, okay? And I'm going to melt it. I may have to put this back on the stove for just a little bit. Otherwise, it might take a little bit longer. But I don't, like, want to necessarily boil it. You know, like I, you're not going to boil it. You're just going to um, just going to keep it in here long enough to melt it. And if you're wondering, OK, well, where do I get those ingredients? Actually, I'm just going to put this on the stove real quick. Um, where do I get my ingredients? I get them off of Amazon usually. And this is the shea butter that I get. It's an organic shea butter. And I got this off of. Um, I got this off of Amazon. So this is USDA organic certified, cruelty free, pure, raw, fair trade, non-GMO. I don't know. It's not that expensive. I don't. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know that if it was expensive, I probably wouldn't get it. So, <laughs> so there's that. And then I also get like a big tub of this is organic virgin coconut oil. This is unrefined 
cold pressed. So that's what you want. Here we go. So you want virgin, you want organic, you want cold pressed, and you want unrefined. So that's the coconut. And I think I got this at BJ's. So very easy. And then like I already told you where I get my beeswax. So essential oils. So I'm going to talk about the essential oils that I use um, specifically for these lotion bars is I'm going to be using purification. And purification is kind of known as that oil for, well, it's known for a lot of things, but one of them is that it helps to purify and destinkify any room or thing, clothes, stuff like that. But I love this when I'm going to, when I know I'm going to be outside and I know that I might be around insects, <laughs> which is when you're outside usually. And so the only thing is you do have to kind of be careful because we have to remember that in the summertime, especially if we're going to be using essential oils topically, the citrus oils are photosensitive. So if they're photosensitive, that means that they can actually um, cause some burning on the skin when we, it, when we put it onto our skin and then go out into the sun. Purification has lemongrass in it, and that can tend to be um, photosensitive. So we just want to be careful about rubbing this stuff all over and then going out and being in the sun because you could get a little bit of a sunburn. So please use sunscreen. And Young has two sunscreens, SPF 10 and SPF 50 amazing amazing stuff and it doesn't have it's not loaded with a bunch of garbage it's um great so i'm going to be using purification in my lotion bars i'm going to be using peppermint because peppermint is is one of those oils too that there's um, a few bugs a few bugs don't like hi jamie um a few bugs don't like peppermint so plus in the summertime when you put this on your skin it has a cooling effect, so it's it's very nice and refreshing, and it will kind of help cool down. I remember um, when Karen and I, um, Karen Powell, and I went to an amusement park last summer with the kiddos. We took the kiddos, and it was like, I don't know, 95 degrees, and it was humid, and it was just crazy. And uh, we were stinking hot, and it was at the end of the day, and we just took a couple drops of peppermint, we rubbed it between our hands, and then we just put it all over our neck and our back and our shoulders, and we were like, ah, oh, so good. So this will, the peppermint will give you that effect, plus it's going to help you with the pests outside. Um, we're also going to use Kunzia. So Kunzia is one of the newer Young Living oils, and do some research on Kunzia. Very, very interesting oil. It's great for the skin, um, but it's very, very good um, for other pests that you don't want. Something that is um, pretty prevalent, I know, especially in upstate New York. So you're definitely going to want some Kunzia. Also eucalyptus and cedarwood. So these are all the oils. I know you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot of oils that you're going to be putting. You don't have to use all of them. This is just what I'm going to do. If you wanted to use just purification, use just purification. They're going to work great. Um, or if you just wanted to add a couple. But I am just going to add five oils. Okay, I'm going to add my purification, peppermint, cedarwood, eucalyptus, and kunzia. And just, just because I'm wild and crazy, um, I'm going to put a little bit of the insect repellent in here too. I'm just going to put a quarter of a teaspoon, but I thought, why not? Let me just check on my stuff here. Okay, so it's melting. Um, let me I'm have to turn it back on. You might want to... Um, Put it on low and um, stir, but it's still there's still some solid pieces of shea butter in there. So the other thing is, okay, so what am I going to put these in? So after my mixture is melted, um, <laughs> so after um, after my mixture is melted. I'm going to be pouring it into some molds. So you can get the, the cutest silicone molds at Hobby Lobby 
or Michael's or Joann's or wherever, AC Moore, you can find some really cool um, molds. Now, these are really great. These are a little bit, these are smaller. These um, are made for like if you're making soaps. But I mean, I don't know if you can see they are, but isn't that cool? Like to have these on the bottom um, at the design on your lotion bars. I don't know. I just thought it would be pretty. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far my mixture is going to go just yet with these because this is going to be the first time that I've used these. So we shall see about that. But then, oh, okay. It's getting closer, Pete. It's getting closer. Okay. So um, the great thing about um, these is that I can stick them right in the freezer if I want to. So I'm going to stick them in the freezer after I've poured my stuff in here, and then I'm just going to let it harden up, and then I will be able to wrap it and put it in some sort of, I want to put it in like a um, brown paper and tie it up with a, a ribbon or twine or something like that and be able to give it to my friend and, it's, and maybe attach some cute little paper flowers on there or something. Um, so you can hear. I don't really want it to boil, but my water's going to boil. Okay, so while that's still going, I also want to talk about cleanup because that is the part I think that is that's not very fun. It's easy to get the all the ingredients out, measure out the ingredients and stuff, but then the cleanup because when you're trying to clean up with beeswax, it can be very interesting because that stuff does not come off very easily. So what I end up doing is boiling another pot of water in the saucepan. And then I use that boiling water and I pour it over my cheese grater because I've grated my beeswax. So I, I use it to, and I pour the hot water, the boiling water over that, over the spoons, over all my mixtures because it's, you know, it's greasy, right? Like all the stuff that I'm using is greasy. And so I want to make sure I clean it up. So once I've rinsed it off with the boiling water, then I will wash it with my Thieves um, dish soap. So, and it seems to work really well with that. So, anyway, I was thinking that this would not take as long to boil, or not boil, but melt. Okay, so there's still a little bit of shea butter in here that's still a little chunky, but if I break it up, it should. So the other thing is you're, you're going to add your oils after, after your mixture is melted because heat can change the chemical makeup. It can actually damage the oils if it's too hot. How hot is too hot? Well, Really, technically, I think if you if you're if you're not able to stick your finger in there, probably not. But okay, so look at this. So see how nice that is. All right, so I'm all it's all melted. It's all melted together, and I'm just stirring it. I'm gonna put my hot water aside so that I don't burn myself. And I'm just gonna kind of let this cool just a little bit. Because obviously, if you let it cool too much, it's going to start to solidify. But let's see. Oh, yeah, perfect. See, I just stuck my finger in there, and it wasn't um, it's not too bad. So, all right, so I'm going to put my oils in here now. So you can see how many oils. How many drops? Well, let's see. I'm going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's just say fifteen of the purification. Because that's the main oil we want, right? Because it's got the lemongrass, it has um, citronella, it has, I believe, rosemary, and 
those good oils that the bugs don't like. So we're going to do 15 drops of that. I'm going to do about 10 drops of the Kunzia. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> oh, the Kunzu Kunzia comes out really fast. I don't know. I might have to do a replay on that one and see how many drops I got. Yeah. <laughs> It's all good. All right. Um, and then I'm going to do. <laughs> no, you're good, honey. Sophia's laughing at me. Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I did seven drops of peppermint. I think I'm going to do like five drops of cedar wood and five drops of eucalyptus, careful, maybe. Mom. What, honey? Be careful, Mom. Yeah. That was hilarious. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do seven of the eucalyptus, okay? And then I'm gonna use the insect repellent. And I'm just gonna put in like a, a quarter, okay, yep. Let's do a quarter of a teaspoon of the insect repellent. All right, and then, gosh, it smells so good. I wish there was smell of vision. There was Facebook smell of vision. Yeah, smells good. Let's see. I don't know how many oils I did total. You know what? I'm going to do a little bit more peppermint because I just like that. No, I'm not going to. Well, seven or eight. You know me. If you've watched my videos, you know. If you've seen any of my my classes that I teach or anything like that, you know that I am not like very technical when it comes to measuring my oils. I don't know. I'm gonna stick in some eucalyptus, more eucalyptus too. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I'm gonna have to wa watch this watch this part over again to figure out how many drops so that I can give you an accurate. You know what? Here's the deal, people. You just got to do what you think you want to do, okay? That's all there is to it. All right, so here we go. So then I'm just going to pour. And it can be, I don't, I don't think I'm going to fill it. I mean, I guess it depends on how much you want. But I might only get two bars out of this one, but I could do like the mini bars. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do two. But if I did the mini bars, obviously I would get a lot more. But this mixture, so these are about the size of bars of soap, okay? So I got two, two out of here. And um, I think you can see how deep it is. But anyway, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, this in the freezer and I'm going to let it um, solidify and, um, you know, harden up. So, yeah, then I'll be able to pop it out and I'll be able to wrap it up in a pretty something or other. I haven't quite figured out yet what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do paper or, um, you know, it'd be really pretty is to have some like, um, burlap or some sort of something like that. Um, but yeah, that's how you can make some lotion bars. And obviously if you use these, these are like the size of ice cubes. So I would have been able to get a lot more, um, of these, of the bars, if I had used this silicone mold, but I'm not going to, I really wanted to try these because they're so pretty. <laughs> So, yeah, so I can't wait to, to um, use these. And then obviously when they're done, when they're ready, when they're hard, you can just, um, you know, rub them between your hands and then you can rub it all over, okay? Rub it all over your body and, um, and then you can enjoy the outdoors annoyance free. And, uh, and also it's amazing for your skin. So not are you keeping the bugs away, but you can nourish and moisturize your skin. Uh, what else is I going to say about that? Oh, 
So I would personally probably keep these in the refrigerator or in the freezer, probably in the freezer, um, because the ingredients that we have used are very, um, they're soft at room temperature. The beeswax does help to kind of make it um, make it harder, but when you've got coconut oil, which we have used coconut oil and shea butter, at room temperature, they're pretty soft. So I don't think that you would want to have your your bug for, you know, say no to bugs, lotion bars, having them just sit out all the time. You definitely don't want to keep them in your car. I probably wouldn't keep it in your purse. Um, keep it if you are going to take them camping or something like that. Keep it in a cool, keep them in a cooler, like in a baggie or something like that, because otherwise it's going to be a probably a, a melted goopy mess I'm thinking I'm guessing because I have made lotion bars before and that has been the case where I've kept it in a baggie and I have to had it in my purse and it was okay but like it does kind of get a little you know soft <laughs> so anyway um I will take a picture when they're done and I will post uh the results when they're ready but anyway I hope that I hope that you make these. Let me know if you make them. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any other ideas, just let me know. Okay? I go. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.